Hello, over in this part we will do some practical example on software timers using CMC's OS version 2. Let's do some practice on software timers. We will start uh, from STM32CubeMX or STM32Cube IDE configurator. Important message is that software timers are disabled by default within CMC's OS version 1 and enabled by default within CMC's OS version 2. So, in general, to enable software timers, please go to Freer OS configuration, select CMC's OS version 2, and then below, within Select Config Parameters, be sure that Use Timers option is enabled. The next step would be adding some tasks. We will use a single task in this project. Within Tasks and Queues of Freer OS configuration, please go to Tasks section and press Add to add a new task. These task parameters should be the following. Name, task 1, priority, OS, priority normal, stack size, 256 bytes, entry function name, start task 1. The rest of the parameters we keep in default state. Our next step would be adding software timer. Within FreeR test configuration, please go to Timers and Semaphores tab, then click on Add button in Timers section. Use the following attributes of the new timer. The name, let's keep the default my timer 01, callback, let's keep default as well, callback 01, and type OS timer periodic. Rest of the attributes please keep in default state and press OK. After this, a new timer should appear within timers section. At the end, we can generate the code and open main C file for further code processing. Let's have a quick look on the code generated by STM32CubeIDE or STM32CubeMX. We'll focus on main.c file. Within private variables we can see two handlers. One is a handler to our task1 and the second one is a handler to our software timer. At the beginning of main function after hardware initialization we can see a creation of software timer and our task. Then we need to start manually software timer in our example we will use task1 function body, so within start task1 function, in its initialization part we will start our software timer with period 1000 milliseconds using function OS timer start. Within endless loop of task1 function body, please put two operations. Sending task for 2 seconds into blocked state by function OS delay and execute task action function, in our case it will be SWO data send. Remaining part of the code of the software timer callback will be covered on next slide. During project creation we have specified the name of this function, function callback used by the timers, as callback01. Empty callback function is generated by STM32CubeMX or STM32CubeIDE. We need to fill the code inside this callback. In general, timer callback functions execute in the context of the timer service task. Those callbacks are not called from the interrupt context and should not contain any blocking functions. Structure of those functions is very similar to hooks implementation, described with an advanced topics part of this training. In such a case, we need to put inside the callback function a short action. For this, we will use our task action function with an argument C. So on each call to timer service task, we will see on our ITM single wire viewer monitor a C character. After this code modification, please compile the code, start a debug session, start ITM SWV monitor and run the application. After run of application, we should see on our SWV ITM data console a similar picture to this one. At the beginning, there is a timer service call task run so we can see the C letter on the monitor. Then we can see task 1 action and uh, the character 1 is displayed. Each 2 seconds and each 1 second we can see an action of software timer again. So the C letter. So we can see the structure like here. So there is C, then after second 1, then after second C, then after next second C, after another second is 1 because uh, there are 2 seconds between each uh, task 1 execution. Thank you for watching this video.